what's at stake here is is really the direction of the future of, of aerospace and space exploration. My parents got me a model rocket for Christmas and I saw it go up into the sky and I heard the sound and I smelled the smoke. So Apollo 11, eight years old, and I remember seeing it on TV. Humans have a, an undying need to explore. It's a very hard engineering challenge. You're launching rockets, man. This is a high stakes operation, multi-millions of dollars. The worst feeling in the world is when your system fails and, and your system is the reason why uh, it didn't make orbit. My name is Tom Markusik. I am CEO of Firefly Space Systems. Firefly is a startup company, and the industry that we're working in is aerospace, but it's a particular niche of aerospace called new space. In the development stage, we're testing all of the things that will go to space on the ground. We have a lot to prove in what we're doing here. Uh, because we are pushing technologies that uh, haven't really been combined in the, in the way they're being combined now. Our first launch date is March 2018 and we'll be delivering satellites for NASA. The appetite for data around the world is voracious and growing. The next uh, frontier, the way of moving data around the Earth, is going to be from space. There are thousands of satellites waiting to be launched. If we can change the economics, and it will really um, open up space for things that people perhaps hadn't even thought about before. I mean, from having one employee to a year and a half later, firing engines, that's, that's never before been seen. And there are some new space companies that have been at it for over a decade and have yet to get to space. We're aiming for that, you know, less than five years type of time frame. What did we get done this week? Um, I think one conspicuous thing we got back was a debrief from NASA on our PDR. Tom's work ethic is uh, unparalleled <laughs> and extreme. I mean, he's here early every morning. He's here till the wee hours of the night every night. The success rate of early launches is, is pretty abysmal. The biggest challenge in, in engineering a rocket is keeping the weight down. You know, you're trying to contain 6,000 degree gas and you're trying to do it with the absolute minimum amount of material that you can. So if you mess up the engineering or the construction of it even a little bit, you're very quickly uh, cutting into your payload and you can actually have uh, zero payload very, very quickly. Increasingly, Western civilization will set itself apart through the technology that develops. And in our particular discipline, it's allowing us to extend the reach of humanity into the universe. I really think it's important for our country to be involved in things that are really leading edge and really high tech. That's what Americans do best. I'm very excited to be part of this, and it's really beyond a dream. I never imagined we'd be able to do this.